Hey, do you know who Joel Olstein is? Who? Joel Olstein. He's a preacher. Oh, Never heard him. I think so. He's got like $100 million in a mansion and a yacht. What about him? Kristen, you know who Joel Olstein is, don't you? Oh. Joel Olstein. No, I saw his name somewhere, but I don't know. He's really a preacher, know. like evangelist guy. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Is that the guy that they arrested or something? No, 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 they didn't arrest him. He, they found a whole, some plumber was doing some work on his church. I guess his church is the old Houston Astros dome or <laughs> something. Yeah. But they found a bunch of money in the wall and oh, they made news and they're gonna tax Joel Osteen, him. No, I don't know. He he has like a hundred million dollars. Gonna drives attack. around in a Rolls Royce, has okay. private jets, and he's a religious preacher. So wow, that's pretty good. I'm a minister. I I went online and I did. I filled out some things and I became a minister. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Well, Joel Osteen anything. figured out how to make money doing it. I need it, to figure out how to make money <laughs> on it. Yeah. Write, write but, him a letter. Uh, Maybe he'll give you some but, tips. Um, I, I, yeah. Yeah. You speak Spanish? A little bit. Uh, I only know swear words. <laughs> hey, what do you think of, uh, you know who Joel Osteen is? Yeah, I do. What do you think of that guy? I actually like Joel Osteen. Yeah. It's, I get a, I'm getting a 50-50 reaction here. Really? Which I think in the comment section, half the, I think half the people will uh, be hating on him and the other half will be well, praising sure. him. Sure. So you think it's okay for him to have him $100 million? Be worth $100 million? Doesn't matter, he earned it. He didn't cheat anybody out of it. Then then why should he? Yeah. I think it might be envy. Well, of envy. course it's envy. In this country, we criticize success. You know right. that. So Joel Olstein, name if I was to ask people, name one bad thing he's done other than have a lot of money. Think they would be able to say anything? They all hate him because he's got a lot of money. That's it, right? Pretty much. Huh. Yeah. They always criticize. I mean, I'll be honest with you. That's why I didn't like him. <laughs> sure. But people donate. Yeah. He doesn't buy or sell anything, or yeah. you know, he doesn't have a, a day job he like us. He goes around preaching. Or you don't. Just, you, you don't have to give. Does he just, uh, oh, he'll, you can listen to him without giving. People just voluntarily give. Sure. And that's not illegal. Of course. But half the people still hate him. Well, you have to buy a ticket if he's, if he's selling tickets at a stadium, if he's appearing there. Oh, does he go to big stadiums and sure. preach? He does. On occasion, yeah. Well, that's how you reach people. They all do. And that's how you rig into money. They all do. Yeah. But you don't have to give. Mm. You don't have to donate. Mm. I actually like the guy a lot. Uh, he's very inspiring. Uh, I understand his his beginning. His he's the son of a preacher. Yes. He he's the son of a famous preacher, Claude Osteen. Uh, but his father came from nothing, and had ex Joel never expected to ever be a preacher ever. He was behind the camera, and his brother didn't want to assume his father's leadership. And nobody did really. So you know a lot about this guy. Well, not you a watch lot. him like? Does he only come on every Sunday? He's on Sundays and he's also on during the week or an evening oh, yes. sometimes. Yes. Huh. Yeah. Depending. How often do you watch him? Uh, a couple of times a month. Oh, you do? I don't follow him, mm. you know, regularly. No. Mm. I like Joel Osteen. Yeah. yeah. So you're a fan. I your, have. Your daughter's a fan of Osteen you know too. I've never worked for a poor man ever in my life. So that that old adage is very true. Yeah. I have. There aren't too many people that have worked for poor people. I have nothing right? against uh, Making wealth, money. wealthy people. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah, we all like Trump, and he's it's loaded. The, it's the American dream. Isn't that funny, man? A lot of people like Trump because he's got money, right? That's a plus. I don't want to follow an unsuccessful for, for, man. Yeah, for conservatives, that's a plus. But when it comes to Joel Olstein, <laughs> they say forget it because he's religious, every, and people think that if you if you if you're going to be a preacher, you should just be doing it out of the goodness of your own heart and not somebody. Yeah. I don't know. No, I like Joel Osteen very much. I find him very inspiring and uplifting, and uh, I like that. Hmm. I, I can't criticize him. Yeah. You know who Joel Osteen is? Yes. What do you think about that dude? Scam artist. Whoa, man, that's harsh. <laughs> He's only got a hundred million. Yeah. Scam artist. Yeah. But people don't have a problem giving him money. No, they sure don't. They like giving him money. A lot of people like. You should come and read the comments on this when I post it because it'll be 50 50. Half the people hate him, half the people love him. It's weird. Sure is. Yeah. I don't give my money to that. Mm -mm. Have you ever heard him preach? I have. He's a good preacher. He's good. And I'm not religious. 
but like I've come across some of his videos before and I've been like entranced into watching it for like and I could never watch any religious stuff I don't go to church but I listened to that dude for like 30 minutes one time I have before I like what he has to say but something weird about him being a, having a hundred million dollars yeah false prophet think uh, what do you think about Joe Alstein you know who that is Joe no. Olstein, I think he's don't get convicted. Convicted? Of what? Joe Olstein, oh, I thought you were talking about that other guy. No, Just... Joe Olstein's a religious guy. You Joe know who Joe Olstein, Olstein is? Yeah. Is he the one in, with the huge church? Yeah, in Texas, they found some money in the wall. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you think about this guy? He's got a hundred million dollars. False prophet. Yeah, false prophet. You're not a fan? No, Man. never was. Yeah, but he didn't steal the money, Jesse. No. He earned it. Yep, he earned it. He's got more money than most movie stars. Yeah. That's awesome. Do you think most people that don't like him are just jealous because he's got all that money? I think so. Yeah. I think I think that might be it too. Envy. Hey man, be careful. You suffer from envy. Um, that's a Democrat trait. Just saying. You're not a Democrat, are you, Brenda? Nope. So why don't you like Joel Alstein? Because he's a false prophet. Yeah. I don't like any of them because it's all in the almighty dollar. Yeah. They don't care about you. Evangelists. They're all. They want the money. What is an evangelist? They're a preacher. They're, they preach the same. They preach out of the same Bible. Well, they but the they're. Gospel and they go different places. Oh. They, and they collect, kind and of they travel take and donations. They collect and, and, yeah. That's how they make all that money. Yeah. Mm. He's just another. Uh, what, Baker. Yeah, Jim Remember? Baker. Yeah, he's just another Jim Baker. What happened to Jim Baker? He went to jail. Yeah, but he's uh, he wasn't supposed to be allowed to uh, preach again, but he's up in North Carolina preaching. He's got his own church again. Hmm. He must be a Democrat. I think they, they don't, all are. They don't, they don't force rules on Democrats. No. Get the vaccine. Come to my world. I will bring you down to So, Joel Olstein's church, some plumber was doing some work and he found like a whole bunch of money in the wall. And then a lot of people are going, oh, Joel Olstein's trying to hide his money in the wall. What do you think? He's got a hundred million dollars, Joel Olstein. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was Joel Olstein. I think maybe a staff member or a couple people wanted. Somebody maybe who was trying to steal the money? Yes. And yeah, then it got Joel Olstein. That, you he, know, don't, he don't need to hide money like no, that. No, he does not need to hide money like that. Even if it was a million dollars. No, deal. that man's got so much money. And, and, and he does a great job in, in feeding the world the word of God. And you know, So you think it's okay for him to be a... Um... Of course, it, just like it is okay for a, uh, a basketball player to make millions. If, if a pastor does a great job, he sells books. If, if a singer sings and they use their gift to make money, there's nothing wrong I with it. I guess a, a big subset of people think that if you're, if you're a pastor, or uh, if you're preaching the word of God, uh, for some reason people think um, you should be just doing it to for do free. it for free. Well, that's not true. This is what the word of God actually says. That's actually a lie. The word of God says this, Jesus came, he gave one person one talent, he gave another person five, he gave another person 10. Mm -hmm. And he asked them to go do something with the talents. The people that didn't do anything with the talents, he said, you wicked and unfaithful servant. Yeah. I'm taking what you have and I'm giving it to the one that already has. Mm -hmm. So it's about reproduction and being fruitful. Yeah. So if we're fruitful and we reproduce with what's been put in our hands, mm -hmm. it's okay to have. Well, he earned it, he didn't steal it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Joel Osteen, what do you think of that dude? I'm gonna get different like uh, viewpoints, I think. He's a religious of. guy, right? Yeah. They found, they found a bunch of money in a wall. A plumber did when he was doing some work. And a lot of people are going, ah, oh, Joel Osteen's hiding his money in the walls of his church. It wouldn't He's got a hundred million dollars. It wouldn't surprise. How can you be a man of God and be that wealthy? I don't know. I don't know, I'm gonna try to stay neutral on this. <laughs> I've seen his shtick. Yeah. And I don't think much of any of them, to tell you the truth. You know, they you know. fact check Pearl Harbor? They fact check Pearl Harbor? Who did, Facebook? It it's an accident. It's an ac Japanese thought they were practicing. Uh, I didn't know the bombs were real. Hey, what do you think of uh, Joel Osteen making a hundred million dollars off of? That's that's ridiculous. You think it's not a bad thing? I think it's uh, yeah. Well, He's a man of God. He should be giving it to God. 
He can help a lot of homeless people with that money. That? Homeless people, the vets. That's a lot of money. Remember when all that flooding was going down in Texas? And they needed, all these people were displaced and they needed a place to go and he didn't want them to come into his church. Yeah. It's I think he ultimately caved to the pressure of the public and he let them all, and let a bunch of men, but he resisted. All these preachers that have millions and millions, like what was that guy they got? Tammy and uh, Jim Baker? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, were they bad. Uh, since then, I don't trust any of them. No. Sorry. Schwager. Jimmy Schwager. His name. That's another one. Yeah. Who, who, Benny Hinn, he's the guy that was in Orlando for a long time. He moved Schwager. away. He drove a Rolls Royce. Who was Benny Hinn? Benny Hinn. Oh. Yeah. The biggest, the worst to me was uh, um, Tammy Baker and what's the other Jim it, Baker. And Jim Baker and Tammy Baker. Well, Joel Osteen's got way more money than they ever had. Yeah, but they had a park. They kind of told the people. They didn't have a hundred million dollars. Joel Osteen does. I just Googled it. Maybe more. Probably oh, more. <laughs> Who knows how much is stuffed in the walls of that church there. Marie, what do you think of Joel Osteen uh, having a hundred million dollars? Oh, and, well, it goes uh, right along with the rest of his, um, you know, million dollar mansions and stuff, you know. Yeah, so he's probably got, he's, me. he's got, not only does he have a hundred million dollars, he's got private jets and yeah. Rolls Royces and. That's just extra cash on hand, a hundred million. Yeah. That's, uh, is that guy making too much money? Should he be helping the. You know, but a lot of people like him, though. Uh, a lot of people still I like guess, him, and they don't care if he's got that kind of money. Yeah, I guess he's probably one of the most honest ones of all the evangelists, you know. He probably, he's got all that money, but he's not hiding it. Yeah, well, you know, and people don't care as long as you don't hide it, you know. When you yes. start hiding it, like Jim Baker. And, Did you hear that some plumber was doing work on his and, church? And found money in, yeah, the, in yeah, the back yeah. of a... I don't know how much money, but... I, I don't know either. I don't think stash. they ever said... Well, it couldn't have been Joel Alstein because he didn't. He could just keep it in the bank. Why would he hide it in the wall? Well, you know, he didn't want to pay. I he did, he somebody, probably didn't want to give it to Biden, so Biden wouldn't give it to illegals. That's just true. <laughs> but I'm thinking somebody stole from the uh, from the uh, Church. little. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they shoved it in there when they were doing yeah. some restructuring. Yeah, I, I'm not thinking that it was Joel Alstein that stole it. Hey, does anybody have any uh, info on Rumble? Everybody keeps telling me that. Trump bought, bought a big chunk of Rumble. Um, it's going to be um, a publicly traded company now or something. And uh, for a while there, when the news first broke, everybody was afraid. Oh, great. It's going to have a board of directors. There's going to be some woke people in there. They're going to start censoring us. Because ever since I've been on Rumble, we've had freedom of speech. So I would be very upset if they started censoring people. But a lot of people are telling me Trump bought into it. Is any of that true? Got to hope so. Anyways, leave a comment in the uh, video here because I'm going to be reading that stuff. I'm curious. I can't find any videos on it saying that, yeah, Trump bought up Rumble or, or bought a chunk of Rumble. But man, his social media site, um, he's buying up all kinds of media. From what I heard, he's going to have news stations. He's going to have... Um, like his own Twitter, his own Facebook eventually type platform. He's gonna have his, even have his own search engine and all that kind of stuff. He's taking them all on, baby. Anyways, get out here and wave flags with us, y'all. Do it! <laughs>